All right, everyone, so I don't normally do videos like this, but I spent five hours yesterday on an issue uh, that was supposedly an easy task just to get your Canon DSLR camera to hook up to your laptop to be able to use as like a webcam or if you're streaming like gaming and you're trying to get your little fat head in the corner. It was supposed to be an easy task. It took me five hours long with a, a phone call that was about an hour long of Canon. So if you're like me and you have the EOS, let me go ahead and EOS 250D. You have this camera. Apparently it's a real popular camera right now. It's perfect for vlogging and it's great for live streaming. The, the, everyone's raving about how good it is and all that stuff. And you know what? They're right. It is a good camera for both. I got it pre-pandemic, uh, like literally a month before lockdown and I got kicked out of my place and that's a whole nother, that's why I'm in my van right now. That's a whole nother story. Anyways, this camera doesn't show up on the website for Canon. The camera you want for the software, when all these gurus say just type in Google, uh, the utilities beta for Canon and then you go look for your camera, you won't see the 250D. The, cam the camera you want is the EOS Rebel SL3. That's the camera. So on Canon's website, it should say EOS Rebel 3 slash 250D, but they don't do that for whatever reason and who knows. But anyways, the firmware for this camera along with all the utility software and everything is all marked under the EOS Rebel SL3. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to the computer now because I'll be able to continue there because the issue actually gets slightly more complicated and I'll just run you through it real quick. Hi guys, so I'm on the computer now. What a lot of these idiot gurus suggest is a type in Canon and then your, your camera name, Webcam Utilities Beta. And for the most part, they're right. No matter what camera name you type in, you'll go ahead and come across this page. I'll go ahead and try to leave a link, but I won't leave a link to the actual camera because I heard uh, Canon changes their website around quite often in their links. You want to head all the way down and as you can see you don't see the EOS 250D. It's just not on here. So what you want is the EOS Rebel SL3. That's the correct link. And if you look at the camera like through the photos you can see it's pretty much the same camera. On here they have the EOS Rebel SL3 where mine said the 250D on the model thing. Alright, so now your first instinct would probably be to download the EOS Utilities 3.13 like I did. Nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, if you did download it, what Canon suggested is you go ahead and uninstall it all. Completely uninstall it, restart the computer. And then the correct one you want is the Webcam Utilities 1.1 for Windows. The file size is only 4.36 megabytes, so it's literally a driver. It's a real small file size. Install it, and then restart the computer. So. If you installed the EOS 3.13, uninstall it, restart the computer, install the EOS 1.1 utilities, restart the computer again so you have a fresh clean start with 1.1 utilities. If you're still watching this video, some other advice would be to get the Amazon Basic uh, 2.0 AML to micro B charge cable, that's the one you want. Don't cheap out on this, especially if you're using it for video and things like live streaming. Uh, I've had a lot of really good luck with the Amazon basic cables. They're really sturdy, they're nice. If, uh, But you should really choose the company you want to use. Even Amazon offers a cable, but they want like 30 bucks for it. These cables aren't that popular anymore, so they go for like five or six bucks. Six feet should be long enough. You know, you don't want a lot of wire clutter. But don't forget the one you want to look for is the USB 2.0 A mail to micro B uh, cable for it. The other thing you may want to think about investing, especially if you're going to do live streaming, which I'm not. I'm not doing the live streaming. I'm just doing like videos where I want to show my desktop and my fat head. Uh, you want a dummy battery. Pretty much what happens is you put this part into the camera and a cord will come out and then it plugs right into the wall unit. So you have like unlimited power for the camera. This is something that's on my wish list. Um, I'm gonna try to get, but it should work. Um, at least this company got it right and put the 250D there. Anyways, this is a, the power cable you want and this should really kind of get your setup going. 
Once again, this is really complex for me. Um, I'm not cash rich right now, so I triple check everything. I'm not going to just start uh, loading drivers and, and, and firmware into my computer and software until I'm absolutely sure what it is because I can't afford to like brick anything. Most of the stuff I bought prior to the pandemic, but you know, life and crap like that has happened. But uh, don't you about get a good cable, get this battery pack, you'll have unlimited power. And don't forget the web utilities you want is the 1.1. And that's it. And you should go and uh, your OBS and Streamlabs should find it and it'll just turn right on. And then you can do the screen adjustments uh, and the filter and the focus and all that stuff right through the camera and it'll show up just fine. Um, but that's it. Hey, thanks for sticking around. There's no need to subscribe or anything. I just, I don't do these videos normally and, and I'm not a tech person as you can clearly see. Uh, but you know, no one else explained how to do this. You know, it was just a pain in the butt and it really infuriated me. Uh, they had no problem using the keyword sort for the click, but no one actually ex explained the 250D, which is apparently selling like crazy right now. So anyways, that's how you get it going. And, uh, thanks for sticking around and have a good day later.